This is a practice video for Algebra 1 Summer School, Unit 3, Lesson 2, Part 1, Function Notation. In this practice video, I'm going to do problem 1A. There's actually two parts to number 1A, I'm sorry. So 1A, 1A again, and then 2D. So in this example, we're given the function defined by f of x equals 2x plus 1. In part A, they ask you to find f of 4. Now we need to remember that when we have function notation, the number in the parentheses is an x value. So I have that f of 4, I'm trying to find the y for the x value of 4. So what I do is I'm going to take 4 and put it in for x into the equation. So I'll have 2 times 4 plus 1. Well, when I have 2 times 4, that equals 8, and 8 plus 1 equals 9. That answer is a y value. So I have a y value of 9 for the x value of 4. In our notes, we were also writing these solutions as an ordered pair, the x and then the y. Okay. So that's 1a. Now we're actually going to go to the second 1a that's in this problem. It was a mistype. Given the same function, f of x equals 2x plus 1, I need to find x for which f of x equals negative 11. If x is in the parentheses and I have a number that my function is equal to, that means that they gave me the y value, the output, and I have to find the input of x. So I take negative 11 in this case and set it equal to the function. That allows me to now solve that equation to find x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. That gives me negative 12 equals 2x. And then I'm able to get x by itself by dividing by 2. My answer is I get negative 6 is my x, my input. If I'm going to write this as an ordered pair, I know that I have an x value of negative 6. That gave me an output of negative 11. All right, the third problem and last problem I'm going to do for you here is 3D. Now in 3, I'm given a function f of x equals x squared minus 4. What I have to do is find f of negative 2. Now negative 2 here is an x. We know that because it's in the parentheses. When I have negative 2, I'm going to put it in for x. When I substitute a value into a function, I have to put it in parentheses. Negative 2 in parentheses squared minus 4. Now I chose to do this problem because we often make mistakes with squaring negative numbers. Remember that when you square anything, that means you're multiplying it by itself. So for example, if I'm looking at 3 squared, that equals 3 times 3. So when I have negative 2 squared, that's negative 2 times negative 2. And a negative times a negative equals a positive, and we have positive 4. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, minus 4 equals 0. 0 is the output or the y value for this example. And your final answer is that when I put negative 2 in for x, I got zero as the output for y. All right, so those are just three quick examples from the practice. If you have other questions on how to get the answers on the function notation practice, you can check the answer key posted on Canvas, or you can come into office hours and ask your instructor for help.